My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here, back at you with another review for Heroes Reborn. And this is the seventh episode titled June 13th, Part 1. And just like the title says, this is the first to a two part episode that we're seeing that both Hero and Noah have gone back to June 13th. At first, I was thinking that they were there to observe what happened, but they're actually trying to prevent it from happening, which uh, Hero takes care of the bombs, which we find out that Renatus is behind it, and Noah trying to save Claire. But as Hero would say, there were too many butterflies to mess with time. Which uh, I would honestly say this was a very great episode in my own opinion. Uh, probably the episode I've looked more forward to more. Not just because it's the first full episode that we see Hero. It answers questions. Ones we've had and ones we may not have had. Uh, and at this point it is spoiler alert. And I would say the questions are what I love the most from this episode. Uh, first being what happened to Claire? which we find out she died from childbirth. She gave birth to twins, which Angela and Noah named them Nathan and Melina, which uh, Hero and Angela, we see that Hero and Angela go back in the past, so that way Renandis wouldn't be really looking for them that far back. But uh, those same two kids, we find out they're Tommy and the, that same chick from Antarctica. Which, it definitely does explain why they have so much of a destiny. Because Angela even had a vision about one of them saving the world. So, I would say that is the thing I love the most from this episode. That was answered. And it also answers why Noah's memory was wiped. It hasn't been wiped yet, but it explains the reason. Because if his memory wasn't wiped... He would never come back to June 13th to protect these twins from being found. So it kind of makes sense why the memory was wiped. And probably the reason why Renee had to kill him was to get him more motivated to finding out. That's, prob that's most likely why. Another reason why. But um, when it comes to small questions... Now, uh, Luke Collins, uh, his powers are very similar but different than that of his son's, which his son, uh, when sunlight would hit any part of his skin, it would burn. Whereas Luke, he is more like being solar powered. So it's kind of like they have pretty much opposite powers. The same power, but in opposite ways. So, got a little question to have answered in this episode. We never had a question, or at least I didn't have a question about that. But the episode, for at least the episode, it leaves you with a cliffhanger. Wondering what exactly is going to happen next. You know, it gets that excitement up a little more to next week's episode, which... I have to say, I'm looking forward to seeing who else we're going to see. Which, uh, another one of the things that I loved from this episode is the fact that, of course, we see Angela Petrelli and Mohinder Suresh. And I guess when it comes to terms of Easter eggs, the episode itself was very similar, but different at the same time, as uh, episode 10 from season 1 of Heroes, which was titled Six Months Later. Uh, in that episode, Hiro Nak Nakamura accidentally went back in time six months to save Charlie. And, you know, you're seeing everyone's little story back then. Which, uh, you know, you don't really see the same thing here because everyone's in the same place. Every one of these characters are pretty much around the same place. But uh, you can check out my past reviews for Heroes Reborn as well as my other reviews for Arrow, Agents of Sealed, The Flash, Gotham, all those great shows, and more. And as always, my name is Jimmy, and until next time, bye.